Hi, I'm Ross from Performance Bike and I would be showing you how to build a 12 inch kids bike. Let's get started. All right, the first step is to put on the training wheels so that we have a, a stable surface to build the rest of the bike with. And what you're going to do is loosen the axle bolts on the rear wheel so we can slide the training wheels up inside. But before we do that, we're gonna insert the chain guard into the back rear axle right here. So we're gonna have to loosen the inner axle bolt so that we can slide it in. And to do this, we're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench as well as a 15 millimeter wrench for the outside of the axle. Once the chain guard is in place, we're going to tighten the bolts again and install the drive side training wheel. Alright, after we install the training wheels, we're going to attach the front fender to the fork before we put on the front wheel. And to do this, we're going to loosen the Allen bolt underneath the fork with the 5mm Allen wrench. And we're going to insert the fender. Alright, now that the front fender is attached, we're going to install the front wheel with the dropouts facing forward on the fork. We're going to tighten down the axle nuts with a 15 millimeter wrench. Alright, once the wheel's on, we can install the quill stem. It has already been greased. We're going to tighten that down with a 13 millimeter wrench. And then we're going to install the handlebars by loosening the bolts with the 6 millimeter Allen wrench and installing the handlebars with the sweep facing backwards. All right, now we're going to assemble the rear fender. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench. Once the rear fender's in place, we're going to insert a grease seat post into the hole, and we're going to tighten down the quick release by turning the left side bolt until we can get the clamp snug. So we can insert the pedal with the R on it on the right side of the bike, and these are threaded opposite to a normal thread. Once the pedal is hand tight, we're going to tighten it down all the way with a 15 millimeter wrench. And we're going to start on the left side and put it with the L on it. The bike is 95% assembled. We're just going to add the reflectors and the safety pads. So the first pad is going to go on the top of the handlebar. And the second pad is going to cover the stem. And so once the pads are on the handlebar and stem, all we have to do now is attach the rear reflector on the seat post. And the front reflector on the handlebar, like so. All right, and that was the basic assembly of a 12-inch kid's bike. If you have any questions or concerns, please call our Spin Doctor tech line.